Hello, my loves. I hope you guys are doing well. Welcome in to this video for the solar shift into Sagittarius. So first things first, if you are new, hi, welcome in. It is wonderful to have you here. What we're going to be doing is talking a little bit about astrology, and then we are going to be using our own astrology, learning about it, and then tapping into the spiritual tools of the oracle cards to get guidance on how to best utilize our personal astrology during this season. So if this is your first time here, you may want to go watch my tutorial video on how to get the most out of these readings. It is not necessary, but it's a tool there for you if you want to know how to engage with this material in a deeper way. For those who are not new, hello, welcome back. It is so wonderful to have you guys here. Thank you so much for tuning in. It's a pleasure for me to offer this support in this way. It brings me so much joy, and I hope you guys all know how much I truly love you, care for you, and am excited for your journeys. If you want to support me, there's many ways you can do that. Just engage with this material. Share it with people you think it will align with. You can also comment on it and let me know what is resonating for you, what questions you have. You can also donate if you feel inspired at paypal.me slash devotedvulnerable, link is in the description. And you can go to my website, devotedandvulnerable.com slash services, link is in the description, if you want to learn more about the services that I offer. I offer card readings, I offer guided meditations, I offer a bunch of different other things, so go there and check it out if you feel called, no pressure. With all that being said, let's jump into Sagittarius season. I'm so excited to bring this energy to you guys. Sagittarius is my favorite sign. I am totally biased. I am a Sagittarian sun. I'm a, Sagitt I'm a Mercury Sagittarius. I'm a Saturn Sagittarius and I'm a Uranus Sagittarius. So I am quite Sagittarian in my astrological makeup. Don't worry if that didn't make sense to you. Basically, I have a lot of Sag energy. So let's talk about what a solar season is. A solar season is when the sun, the spotlight of our solar system, is in a particular sign. The solar season of Sagittarius will start on November 22nd when the sun moves into the sign of Sagittarius and it will last until December 21st, until the solstice, when the sun will then move into the sign of Capricorn. So during this solar month, and I will refer to this as the month as we go through these readings. So please understand when I say this month, I do mean solar month, November 22nd to December 21st. We're going to be focusing on the Sagittarian energy, the Sagittarian archetype. So your readings are going to be based on where Sagittarius shows up for you in your chart. Essentially what planets, the sun, the moon, and or your rising sign exist in the sign of Sagittarius. Now, if you do not know what planets and aspects you have in the sign of Sagittarius, do not worry. This is part of what we do here in these readings. We learn about our astrology to get caught up with your own astrology, to get access to your own chart, to know how to read it and find out what planets are in this sign. Watch my tutorial video. I have this tutorial video created for how to find your birth chart information on astro.com. It, link is popping up here and it is also in the description if you want to go and enter in your birth data to that site. And you do need to know your birth time in order to access this information. So go ahead and watch my how to find, how to find your birth time tutorial to get caught up on how to find your birth time so that you have something to work with with the chart generator. So we're going to be spotlighting the sign of Sagittarius by finding out what planet, the sun, the moon, and or the rising sign is in Sagittarius. You will watch the readings and the explanations for every single planet that you have in Sagittarius. So for example, I mentioned that my sun's in Sagittarius, so is my Mercury, so is my Saturn, and so is my Uranus. So technically I have four readings this month because I have four planets in the sign of Sagittarius. I know that might be a lot of information for you, but this is when the sun, the spotlight of our galaxy is really highlighting these elements and aspects of your life. So it's really fun to dive into how this is showing up in your life, how this archetype may be expressing itself through you, through the planets. I'll describe in each video 
what the planet in the sign of Sagittarius really means before I dive into the reading and the advice. If you do not have your sun, the moon, your rising sign, or any of the planets in the sign of Sagittarius, there's a video for you called Background Sagittarius. I'll explain in that video what that means, but you can watch that video if you don't have any of those aspects. So a little bit more about Sagittarius. You want to look at your Sagittarian suns for this entire month as well. Watch how they shine. Watch how they act during this time. So anyone with a birthday between November 22nd and December 21st, I call it spying on the solar sign, so that you can really learn more about this energy. The Sagittarian archetype is the archetype of the archer. And the archer has this bow and arrow that it's aiming. And what is it aiming at? It's aiming at anything it wants to, but the thing that Sagittarius loves to aim at the most is truth. We love to aim at truth. Truth is one of our favorite things to aim at. It is essentially the energy of this archer and or centaur. So we can be adventurous. The Sagittarian sign is adventurous, congenial, which means likable, dreamy, very, very idealistic, very, very focused on what it is that we are wanting in our lives. We are optimistic. We're always looking at the positive side of things and we are intellectual. So I say we because yes, I am in the Sagittarian archetype, but this is going to show up somewhere in your life as well. So it refers to you as well, no matter where it shows up in your chart. So the modality of the Sagittarius, meaning the way that this energy expresses, is through the modality of what's called mutable. You see the little arch with the dot underneath it up there. And that's the symbol for mutable. Mutable signs are always the signs that happen during a change in seasons. So in the Northern Hemisphere, Sagittarius happens between the change from fall to winter. It's not quite winter yet, and fall's kind of wrapping down, winding down. And so the energy of the Sagittarius is very changeable, mutable, very adaptable. It's constantly shifting. The element of the Sagittarius is fire. It's represented here by the triangle. The triangle is the flame going up towards the sky. And so the element of fire represents the spiritual world, the spiritual realm. So when we put those two together, we have this changing spirituality. That is a lot of the essence of the Sagittarian archetype. Not only are we focused on truth, you have to be a seeker of knowledge in order to gain this truth. Through adventure and experience, we learn in our lives. And so it's this ever-changing spiritual nature of the Sagittarian archetype that we're going to be exploring and spotlighting for this entire solar month. I created a little explanation page here for you guys to show you a few different elements of the Sagittarian archetype. So you see here the symbol represented by the arrow. Next to it, we have, of course, the archetype, the archer. The planet that rules Sagittarius is the planet of Jupiter. Jupiter is all about expansion. It's all about luck. It's all about making things big and bright and energy. So the Jupiter energy is this amazing hugeness in our galaxy, in the story of the Zodiac. And so it rules the Sagittarian sign because they're so very similar in their energies. The key word for Sagittarius is idealize. I would also say that the key word is truth. You can see here the constellation of Sagittarius. And again, we have the element of fire represented by the triangle, the modality of mutable, that changeable energy represented by the half circle and the dot, and the house of Sagittarius. So each Zodiac sign represents or rules a house. So they go in the order of the Zodiac story. So Aries is the first sign in the Zodiac story. So it represents the first house. Sagittarius is the ninth sign in the Zodiac story. So it rules and represents the ninth house. You can think of the planet 
as the what of your zodiac story, the sign as the how, how that what expresses, and the house as the where. So the where of the ninth house is very Sagittarian in energy. It is all about learning, travel, adventure, spirituality. It can deal with mental health. It can deal with higher learning. That is where the energy of the ninth house represents and shows up in our lives. Now more about the houses will come through in my moon readings. The new one in Sagittarius happens a day after this solar shift. So after you watch these videos, you definitely are going to want to watch the new moon in Sagittarius video where we are going to be focusing on the house energies where this new moon is showing up for us in our lives and the advice that's coming through for the lunar phase of Sagittarius, which is going to start one day after the solar phase. All right. So for this reading, we are going to be consulting the Isis Oracle by Alana Fairchild. And if readings aren't your thing, please feel free just to watch the explanation of your energy and let yourself play with how that expresses throughout your solar month. But we can also use the cards to get more insight in how to really capitalize on this energy. The Isis Oracle wanted us to focus on freedom, this solar phase. So freedom is a huge theme of the Sagittarian archetype. I haven't really talked about it yet, but it deals with this expansion. In order to be free, you have to be able to expand. In order to expand, you have to be able to be free. If you're confined, you're not able to expand and you're not free. So we're going to focus on how to get ourselves to open up to a more free way of living. That is what the Isis Oracle really wants to bring to us for this solar season of Sagittarius. So in order to focus on this freedom, the Isis Oracle is going to bring us this little poem, this little affirmation to say throughout our solar phase, to really activate within us this free expression that we are looking to embody during this Sagittarian season. This is a very, very powerful deck. And I am excited to share the medicine, the power, and the beauty, and the wisdom that this deck has to offer. We have covered everything that we're going to cover here in this explanation video, and we're going to dive into our individual readings. So this video is for you if the sun was in Sagittarius when you were born. Hello and welcome in. The sun in the zodiac story represents how we shine. It represents our radiance and our power. So you, my dear Sun and Sagittarius, shine the most when you are embodying the qualities of the Sagittarius that we talked about in the beginning. This adventurous, congenial, idealistic, optimistic, and intellectual vibration. When we aim at truth, we are in our full radiance and in our full power. The mutable energy of the Sagittarius is like this changing, shifting, adaptable energy and that's what makes us able to shift in group situations and meet the needs of a group dynamic. That's also what helps us to be so congenial. The spirituality, the spiritual aspect, the fire of our sign represents this searching for truth. The spiritual nature is also the philosophical nature of life. And we are constantly seeking adventures and opportunities and knowledge and experiences so that we can understand the spiritual nature of life. Fire is also passion. So we are very passionate. When we are in our power and in our radiance, we are expressing passionately. A lot of times the Sagittarian archetype can be seen as a little bit too much. And that is something that we have to deal with as Sagittarian energies. Every sign has their shadow side. And one of the shadow sides of the Sagittarius is this a little bit too much energy. As we were talking about in the introduction, ruled by Jupiter means that we are 
expansive. We're big. <laughs> we can overindulge because of this Jupiter influence. And again, we're constantly changing and shifting. So we are constantly changing and shifting our beliefs. We're constantly shifting and changing the adventures and ex experiences that we have because of this adaptable energy and because of the spiritual focus of this adaptable energy. So I just wanna to say to you all, happy birthday, happy solar return. I always encourage people to set intentions, like pretend this is a new year for you. It is, right? It's a new solar year for you, a new rotation around the sun. So allow yourself to really have fun with this season, play with it. So I just wanna share my love for you. I am a solar Sag and I have just such reverence and appreciation for our energy and how we express it and the light and the shadow that comes through with this energy and this archetype. I feel you. I'm here with you. I have been told my entire life I'm too much <laughs> and I have been able to see that part of myself and really harness this energy and this beauty that I have, this power and this radiance in a way that's aiming at truth. That's what I really notice about myself. When I'm focused on truth, it doesn't matter how much or how, yeah, it doesn't matter if I'm too much, if I'm focused on truth. If I'm focused on something else, that's when that shadow kind of shows up for me. So maybe that's a hint and advice for you is to allow yourself to focus on truth. For this reading, we're going to be getting guidance on how to focus on our freedom. And the truth is that we are free. And how to really embody that is coming through in this solar season. And really how to stand in your radiance and your power, stand in your freedom. This solar season is going to be what we're going to be guided to. So with that being said, happy birthday. I love you guys. I'm here with you guys more than I am with any other sun sign because we are in this together. We shine together and let's stand up this solar season and aim our bow and arrows at truth and be the shining example for the rest of the Zodiac story. It is our time and we are going to lead the way to freedom and truth. Also, before we go, if you do not know if you have any other planets in Sagittarius, please go ahead and check and see if you have any other aspects in Sagittarius. The moon moves every two and a half days. So it's possible you have a moon in Sagittarius. The rising sign changes like every two hours. So you could have a rising Sagittarius. There's a one in three chance your Mercury's in Sag. There's a one in five chance that Venus is in Sag. So go ahead and check your chart and see if you have any other Sagittarian aspects to celebrate and to receive guidance for. Um, but do that after we get we do the reading. Okay, so now, whoo, if you haven't already, taken a few deep breaths, called in your spiritual support team, and opened your heart to receive the guidance that's most aligned for you, I invite you to do that at this time. All right, my son and Sagittarians. Let's find out what guidance is here to help you embody your freedom, this solar phase. Here it is. Hey, we got portal of light. She glides on wings through time and space. Yes, yeah, she does. Okay. So what I'm going to do for these is I'm going to read a little blurb at the beginning and then I'm going to be reading us this beautiful affirmation to use with this card, all solar face. I do recommend you write it down. Um, yeah, here we go. It is only the physical reality that is bound by time and space. You are a being conscious on levels beyond the physical world. You are guided to work with your healing powers beyond the confines of time and space and to allow your sense of self to expand. There's that word expansion with this Jupiter energy. It is safe for you to do this now. 
you will not become ungrounded through such spiritual growth. Sagittarian energy is all about the spiritual vibration. You are not leaving your earthly awareness. Instead, you are adding to it. Okay. So my recommendation is just to pause this video bit by bit as you write this down. If you're on YouTube, you can turn on captions, which will help you to read what I'm saying. In this light, beyond time and space, I enter the portal of divine light and grace. I am free from shackles. I am free of shackles from this life or another. I surrender old fear to the divine mother. I choose now to be free of the past. I choose now I choose now to be free of the past. In the present light of spirit, I now bask. In the portal of light, beyond all time, love and light frees me into peace sublime. Woohoo! Okay, yeah. So. The Isis Oracle hits hard, by the way. Maybe you know that by now. And what she is inviting us into is freedom. I love that there's the word free in here twice. And I love that we are surrendering our fear because we really can't be free and move forward in this life when there's still this fear that we're carrying around with us. And this is part of what we're being guided to focus on this solar phase to embrace our freedom by releasing our fears. And she talks about in the present light of spirit, I now bask. So basking in the light of the spiritual world, the world beyond which can be sensed with the physical awarenesses, but which still can be understood and felt and experienced. And we're also being freed from the shackles of this life or another of another. So freedom from shackles is freedom from the past is freedom from fear is freedom from everything that's holding us back. So this affirmation and declaration of freedom is what we're being invited to share, to experience, to expand into during this solar phase. This is powerful. We are here, my loves, to shine the light on this spiritual world, the spiritual nature of our reality, which, let's be honest, has been the most it has been the least focused upon realm. Like we talk about the spiritual realm, the emotional realm, the mental realm, but very infrequently is there a focus on the spiritual until Sagittarian season comes along. And we really do have the chance to focus on that spirit. And it also talked about our healing powers at the beginning, that even if you're not in the profession of healing, you can heal yourself and others around you by claiming this freedom, by asserting the truth of this spiritual nature, by freeing yourself from fears from the past, and by allowing yourself to show up in this healed way. Because as you heal, the people around you heal as well. They'll shift as well. And you can really be that guiding light to offer this freedom, to offer this expansion, to offer this healing, this, this release of the shackles that bind us. This really feels so powerful and resonant and beautiful. And I'm excited for us to lead the way into this portal of light. It's kind of like we're bringing all of humanity um, to this new way of being 
to this free way of being. I mean, imagine my beautiful Sagittarian sons, the image of our human family, all of us living in freedom, living in cooperation with each other, living in unconditional love for each other, showing up for each other, being selfless for each other, with each other, cooperating, collaborating, celebrating. It feels so good to me. My optimism is just like, please, I want this for the world. I want this for my human family. My idealism is like, this is the ideal. This is what I've been aiming at. I want us all to be free. And this is how we do it. We embody this portal of light and we guide people to this light. Think of the lighthouse analogy, right? We are guiding the ships back into the harbor to safe haven. It feels like humanity's been at sea for a really long time. And it's time for us to come home to ourselves, to our family. And we, the Sagittarian sons, are leading the way through our healing and through our release of our fears and letting go of the shackles from our past, from this life, from past lives, from the stories of our ancestors, all of it. Powerful, powerful time, powerful message. I love you guys. Let me know how this is resonating. Please reach out to me. Please let me know what it is that this is lighting up within you, what questions you may have and what reflections you wanna share. Happy, happy birthday. Thank you so much for being here. As always, namaste. The universal light within me salutes and honors the universal light within you. Namaste.